Tonight, an empty boat, a missing fisherman, the desperate air and sea search off the Sunshine Coast. New hospital beds for Caboolture, but our paramedics are so busy they don't even have time for lunch breaks. Moment of madness, a child caught clinging to a car, the driver reveals why. A month of rail pain, warnings of train chaos over Christmas. Supermarket wars erupt, prices slashed on hundreds of popular items. And your guide to the South East's best Christmas lights as Queensland's top chefs reveal their secrets to a budget festive feast. Live from Brisbane, 7 News with Sharon Gadella and Max Butcher. Good evening. There's a large-scale search tonight for a fisherman who's been missing at sea for more than 24 hours. His boat was found off Morton Island this morning, the engine running and belongings still inside, but there's been no sign of the angler. If not for the presence of police, this bobbing boat seems ordinary. Upright in the ocean, its engine running, but with no one at the control. That saw searches all but wrapped up for today and will begin tomorrow at first light, weather permitting. Garth Burley in Mooloolaba tonight. One of the South East's most problem-plagued hospitals has been given a boost. More beds mean more health workers are needed at Caboolture Hospital, as pressure mounts on the state government to ease the burden on paramedics. An influx of ambulances... A Gold Coast home has been raided by police as officers continue their search for a gunman. Jordan Quinn, he's armed and dangerous. Max Soleil Adesoy is being described by police as... Well, there have been more heartening scenes out of Gaza with the release of another 17 hostages, including a four-year-old orphan. The final captives are due for release tonight with a chance the current ceasefire could be extended. <laughs> Now for a look at the weather, and Tony, storms are closing in on the southeast. Yes, yeah, Sharon, they've been building inland, and at the moment we are surrounded by a ring of rain and thunderstorms to the west. They're slow moving and bringing heavy rain. Storm warnings are current in this yellow area through inland spots with very dangerous rainfall rates and the risk of flash flooding, especially around Kilcoy. But the rainfall has been pretty heavy under a number of those cells. These shots from around Bow Desert, a few spots in that local area picking up over 50 millimetres in just the last hour. Now looking ahead, we can expect a bigger rain band to get going overnight, spreading to the coast and bringing soaking falls over large parts of the state through tomorrow. So dig out the brolly. I'll be back soon with the forecast. Thanks, Tony. See you then. One of the country's most powerful public servants has been sacked from his $900,000 job. Mike Pizzullo has been dumped as Home Affairs... We're being warned to prepare for rail chaos over the festive season. Joel Dry joins us in the studio and Joel, the headaches are being caused by Cross River Rail track closures. Sharon, the massive infrastructure project is going to cause some serious issues over the Christmas holidays for train commuters as authorities take the opportunity of the quieter time of year to get major works completed. Things like... And alternative options. All these interruptions are necessary, we are told, if the Cross River Rail project is to open on time, which unfortunately is still more than a year away. All right, Joel, thank you. Public support for the Albanese government is falling as a new poll reveals Australians are unhappy with the handling of national security. Trying to regain control, Labor has introduced even tougher measures on immigration detainees recently freed by the High Court. It was a dangerous stunt that could have ended in tragedy. Coming up, why a child was clinging to the windscreen of this moving car. A fiery crash causes chaos on the M1. Small change, why Bob Catter wants to ditch the king. And the dangerous drivers speeding through our suburbs, the worst hotspots revealed. The M1 between Brisbane and the Gold Coast was shut last night after a fiery motorbike crash. Is it that time of year already? Christmas lights are starting to shine in our suburbs, but where are the best displays? North, south, east and west, don't miss our full festive guide coming up in 7 News. Also, dangerous drivers are being exposed. The shocking speeds some are reaching near school zones. We reveal the worst hotspots. Dramatic police take down an alleged young thief caught in a fresh crackdown. Chaos and close calls after a road upgrade triggers a traffic nightmare. And the bombshell new book that has the royal family on edge.
Logan police have arrested 132 teens on more than 500 charges in their latest... Dangerous drivers have been clocked at eye-watering speeds through Brisbane suburbs. The data collected by council radars is passed on to police, but offenders won't face fines. Sam smiles for safe drivers, but some deserve a whole lot less. That's lose your licence. The South East is lighting up with stunning shows of festive spirit. Up next, your full Christmas lights guide. Where to go for the best displays? A huge explosion destroys a military factory. What caused the blast? 400 cut price items as Queensland supermarket wars heat up. And meet our special Seven News visitor, his heartwarming mission, fundraising for a vital cause. Seven News is proudly brought to you by Woolworths. To some breaking news now, Queensland hospitals are on alert yet again after the discovery of a bacteria-tainted saline solution that's been distributed across the country. The outbreak is suspected to be linked to the death of a woman at Budrum Private Hospital last week. But surely the best prize is simply seeing little faces light up. Laura Dimmick, 7 News. Well, you don't need to break the bank to serve up a festive feast this Christmas. Queensland's top chefs will show you how. Feed the family lunch, dinner and dessert for under $50. That story is just ahead on 7 News. But it's sport time now and you've prepared quite the feast, Webby. Yes, Sharon, for our footy fans. Hello, everyone. Coming up, the road to grand final redemption begins for both the Broncos and the Lions. Plus, the World Cup payback continues. Australia smashed in the second T20. He's been a Bronco for a day, but that's all it's taken for new prop Fletcher Baker to discover the club's burning desire for grand final redemption. Pre-season's underway at Red Hill, with the former Rooster joining the battle to replace front row firebrand Tom Flegler. Haunted for almost two months by what-ifs, the Broncos are back some yeah, early. Mitch Crone, 7 News. Across town, the Lions have gone a step further in their quest for redemption. A majority of their senior stars turning out for an optional Springfield sweat session. That's left a strong impression on their prized off-season recruit. And Chan, let's head sport. All right, Ruby, thank you very much for that. Well, time now for a check on the markets with Angela Cox. And Ange, it's been a rough start to the week. It certainly was a negative start with the ASX 200 down 53 points. Miners were hit hard after the workers. Victims have lost $1.2 million so far this year. Angela Cox there. It takes a certain kind of teenager to undergo two open heart surgeries and still smile the way Dominic Blau does. He's on a fundraising drive to help other kids like him and he stopped by as the first guest in our new set. With a day off school, Dominic Blau knew something was up. I didn't know I was coming yet. <laughs> oh, it was a surprise. They kept it a surprise. <laughs> Aged 13, the Seven News set was older than Dominic. It's been a two week race to tear it down and rebuild the studio in time for his visit. There's 14 metres of screens, a bit bigger than the TV at my place. You're going to use this today, coming here to visit us, yeah. as an opportunity to try and raise some money. Yeah. That's a great idea. Well, everyone give. Yeah, please. <laughs> give to Dominic. He's a practised pro at home. Channel 7 afternoon show. So Dominic was ready when his moment came. Three, two, one, away you go. Hi, I'm Dominic and I'm one of eight kids born every day in Australia with congenital heart disease. Together, we can help make their lives better. Please visit my page to donate. Dominic needed open heart surgery at one week old, and again recently. He just does it, sits there, and then he'll open up his eyes and say hello to you when he's done. Heart Kids was there for the family. Now Dominic is helping the charity help others. During st stressful times and providing life-saving equipment, since I'm a heart kid myself, I'm just trying to help all the children. Who, like him, are brave every day. I reckon that was the best one. Michelle Jensen, 7 News. Nice one, Dominic. Thanks for stopping by. 
The supermarket wars are heating up ahead of Christmas. Woolies has slashed the prices of 400 summer's growing conditions. Now let's take a look at what's on Sunrise tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Tomorrow on Sunrise, solving Australia's doctor crisis. We'll show you how your family can skip the five-week wait for a GP in Queensland and be bulk billed guaranteed. See you in the morning. A fancy festive feast for a fraction of the cost. Coming up, Queensland's top chefs share their favourite Christmas recipes that won't break the bank. And storm warnings current this evening with more rain on the way. I'll have the forecast coming up next. Queensland's top chefs have revealed their secret recipes to make your Christmas dinner better than ever without breaking the bank. In the first of our two-part series, Brisbane's Best show you how to make a festive feast for under $50. Richard Oosby is Australian Chef of the Year and he's got your Christmas lunch sorted. That's the great thing about this is you can kind of get into... Samantha Heathwood, 7 News. OK, now I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> it looked good, didn't it? Very, Very good. good yeah. mm. Weather now, Tony, the rain is almost here. Uh, yes, on our doorstep, Max, storms are closing in from the west and we have a wet 24 hours on the way. Now, this view from Willowbank Raceway. Uh, a short time ago, those skies looking very menacing. It was hot and muggy today. Greenbank reaching 33 degrees, Brisbane and Beerburrum around 31. On to the radar, more storms, storms possible in the afternoon and evening, some cells possibly severe. In Ipswich, also stormy in Ipswich on Wednesday, then sunshine and heating up, 35 degrees Thursday, 36 on Friday with a late shower. On to the Gold Coast, we could also see a late shower before storms returning on Saturday and Sunday and on the Sunshine Coast that same pattern with more wet weather lingering for a longer time but the peak well Thursday mostly sunny. Sharon and Max. All right thank you Tony. Now before we go here's a look at a special report we have for you tomorrow night. And that's all from us this Monday. Thanks for your company. The latest from 7 News starts at 10.50 tonight but for now from all the team have a good night. Good night. <laughs>